WSIM Morning News with Samantha Jade. Breaking news. Good morning, everyone. I am Samantha Jade, and welcome back to WSIM for your local news today. We are currently following the pending murder case in the death of Maximiliano Haywood against local Newcrest resident Hunter Moore. Trial is set to commence shortly. Here is what we know about the case. Hunter Moore is a young adult who lives in Newcrest, a local up-and-coming suburb, and resides with his brother, Harrison Moore, a local police officer at the Newcrest Precinct. Little is known about Hunter's employment. He seems to spend his days fiddling on his computer, clubbing, gallivanting with multiple women, and keeping secrets. On Monday, the day in question, Lily Turner, the defendant's mother, stopped by to have a discussion about a painting that had gone missing in her home. Harrison found the painting that belonged to Lily in Hunter's room and promptly returned it. We reached out to Lily for her comments on this case and did not receive anything by the deadline of the program. That Monday evening around 6.59 p.m., Hunter can be seen entering the Haywood residence, a three-story home in Willow Creek, presumably to visit with either of the two sisters he had been involved with, Charlene Haywood and Adeline Haywood. At this time, he also meets Rosemary Haywood for the first time. He eventually steals a very expensive computer from the house and then visits more with the family. Hunter definitely has a way with the women, as he is able to woo and flirt with every woman in the resident at some point in the night, unbeknownst to the others. Maximiliano can be seen coming up the stairs to say goodnight and kiss his wife on the cheek at 10.13 p.m. and then heads to the master suite to go to bed. With no regards to the man of the house, Mr. Haywood, or the daughters he's been secretly seeing, Hunter immediately starts flirting with Mrs. Haywood and things get hot and heated. What happened next will utterly shock you. Parental supervision is advised. The following may be upsetting to some viewers. Oddly, at 3.06 a.m., Mrs. Haywood changes into a more revealing outfit and leads Hunter into the master bedroom where Mr. Haywood lay to slumber. <laughs> Moore and Haywood began kissing and making out, waking Mr. Haywood out of his sleep. Angrily, Mr. Haywood leaves the master bedroom and stands in the hallway. Hunter and Rosemary proceed to continue their activities in the marital bed. Maximiliano waits outside. Upon completion, Hunter exits the room to confront a very angry Maximiliano and the two exchange words. Things escalate and the two begin to scuffle. Footage here is difficult to see, but observers say Mr. Haywood was the victor of this scuffle. This angers Hunter as he exchanges more words with him, declares him an enemy, and proceeds to walk away. Mr. Haywood is seen after the fight clutching his chest and falling to the ground. Instead of helping him, Hunter immediately starts celebrating as he realizes Maximiliano has fallen to his death. Mr. Maximiliano Haywood died that Tuesday morning at 5.23 a.m. and death issued his final reaping at 6.05 a.m. None of the children, nor Mrs. Rosemary Haywood, were present to see the fight, death, or the reaping. Now this is where things get very interesting. There has been a lot of talk about what could have possibly happened that evening, but things get stranger following the death. While Hunter is seen celebrating by jumping for joy, pumping his fist, and laughing, Rosemary enters the room, showing no grief or tears during this time. Then she immediately finds out she's pregnant, and later you can casually see her strolling by her husband's remains. At 6.42 a.m., Hunter Moore is seen leaving the Haywood residence. Both sides have compelling arguments to this case, and while one doesn't know how things will turn out until it's in the jury's hands, the court of public opinion has definitely weighed in. Shortly after the death of her husband, Rosemary arrives at work and it is revealed that she is a fellow co-worker of Harrison, the defendant's brother, roommate, and a local police officer. 
She appears grief-stricken and shares the news of her husband's death and her pregnancy. The defense alleges that this delayed response to the death, as well as revealing herself to Harrison at this particular moment, is very suspicious. She was also the one that appears to have enticed Hunter that evening and led him into the room where Mr. Haywood could and would eventually see their interactions. Rosemary could very well have motive to have her husband killed, as she would inherit the house and all of her husband's money. The defense also alleges that she could have set Hunter up to take the fall. On the other side, the prosecution alleges that Hunter had all the motive in the world. His character is that of a local thug who goes around town terrorizing people, sabotaging public areas, fighting, and partying. They also allege that Hunter was angry at the fact that he lost the fight to Maximiliano and had an image to uphold that would have been tarnished by the revelation that he lost against someone who ultimately wears bunny slippers to bed. Which side is right? Will Rosemary be implicated in the death of her husband? Will Hunter be found guilty in the death of this loving husband and father of three? Or was it truly an accident? Only time will tell. But stay tuned here to WSIM as we keep you up to the know on the case and all other local news in the area. And we want your feedback. Please tweet us or comment with the hashtag HunterDidIt if you think Hunter is guilty or hashtag FraudWidow if you think Roseberry used Hunter to cover her part in the crime. Thank you for tuning in for this special report and we will see you all next time. Thanks. Thank you.